Hello everyone, my name is CCG88, and welcome to episode 43 of the refurbished Logo Evolution series. It's about time I do an RLE on a video game company. I mostly avoided this section for this series because there's not many good video game companies to do an RLE on, but after looking at it, there's a few good companies out there that are possible. One of these is Valve Corporation. Valve LLC, as it was known by, was founded in 1996. They are known for producing the Half-Life series, the Portal series, the Left 4 Dead games, and a couple of other famous franchises. They also created the gaming distribution website Steam, which launched in 2003, and the game engine Gold Source, which began in 1998. Valve's name, games, and logos have become really favourable and popular across the world, but it's their logos that we're going to be talking about today. There are four of them, and this was the first one. I like to call it the Factory, and it was created using the Gold Source engine in 1998. It's honestly very creative, but not really appealing or memorable. The concept is good, but the execution of it isn't. Valve's second logo is where things really begin. It looks like this. It's been dubbed Open Your Eyes, and it was used from 1998 to 2004. There's a variant where the colours have been toned down. The logo is also slightly glitchy. Another inventive logo from Valve, but the ominousness of it, as well as the music, can put people off. If you're a fan of Valve's games, however, you are probably used to this. In 2006 though, the guys at Valve gave us a new logo, which I think is slightly more frightening. Their third logo is this, it's been called Open Your Mind, and it's been in use since 2006. On some games, the man in this logo would turn his head very creepily and slowly, which would quickly cut back to normal. The Valve Print logo would then fade in afterwards. Once again, the idea is very good, but this time slightly more alarming. I think what makes this logo scarier than before is that we can't see the man's face. Plus, the nickname Open Your Mind just sounds a bit more nightmarish. Maybe it's just me, but I think it's more menacing than their previous design. I was actually afraid of the turning head variant when I first came across Valve, but you have to remember this was entirely intentional. When you remember how unsettling Valve's games are, it coincides with their logos really well. And the intentional creepiness yet creativeness is further shown in their latest logo which looks like this. It's called Look Around, but I like the nickname Open Your World. It's been in use since 2016. Now this is a logo you would see before the beginning of Valve's virtual reality games like The Lab. The room full of valves can be considered unwelcoming, but you have to admit that it's very creative. You have to give credit to Valve for actually using the object they're named after in all of their logos, even with their 1998 one. Now, whilst working on this video, I noticed that Valve changed their logo from this to this in 2018, meaning that Valve's next game will most likely scrap the 2006 logo and have something new, or they could just edit it and replace the Valve logo with this. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. For now, I'll finish this video here. Thank you very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later. Goodbye!